Buzz Nation, what is up? Welcome back to yet another exciting video. Guys, we are so excited because we are seeing Pan-Africanists, we are seeing an extension of the Alliance of the Sahel State from West Africa up to Southern Africa, and South East Africa. Africa. Hopefully East <laughs> Africa. We are so excited and we are so happy to see Malema continuing with the struggle of sanitizing Africans about the land issue. This is an issue that I think is the most important because in his manifesto and in his agenda, he makes sure that the land comes top. We want you guys to listen to this video by Malema where he's just talking about the importance of the land to the black people and why he needs to make sure that every black person owns a piece of land we want to give you land but not land for settlement only each and every family must produce a farmer when you are not a farmer it means you don't produce your own food it means you rely on the poor to produce food for you they can produce food and lock it in their own farms you will die of poverty we want land for farming. We want land for industrialization. We want land to open factories and make sure that we create jobs all over. Comrades, we must produce jobs from the farms. Farming is what you are eating. We are going to produce farms because we must beneficiate platinum here. Enough, it's enough. We must share the wealth of our country. One of the things we must do is to build the roads. We make investment easy. We must do a proper road and see how many investors are going to come into your village. There is no prospering economy without proper roads. When you say America... When you say UK, when you say France, you speak about their infrastructure. You speak about their roads and that's what we must do here. Yeah. By the road construction alone, in less than a year, we can create 40,000 jobs for the young people who are going to feed their families. So Malema talks about the importance of land, one being farming, growing our own food. Another person that we've seen talking about this same issue is Ibrahim Captain Ibrahim Traore. He started a program for young people, you know, giving them equipment for farming, even land for farming. And Malema is saying, we need all of you South Africans to own a piece of land. Black South Africans, you need the land because you need to grow your own food. You need to be farmers. You need to be the ones growing your own food because if you leave this work to the Boers, they can lock up the food in their storerooms and decide they won't give you food for the next um, five, ten days. What will happen to you? You'll starve. What will happen to you to, to, the, to the country? They are at a place where they can control the prices of food. They can control the economy. They can literally do anything with your lives. They can even grow GMOs and the, the kind of foods that you, your body cannot even doesn't even have to be consuming. So the important and the emphasis of land, land, land amongst the black population in South Africa is so important, even for the whole of Africans. Guys, even for you, if you don't own a piece of land where you can do your own farming, it's time to rethink that decision. He who feeds you controls, controls you. you. Yeah. Having land where you can grow your own food is the first mm -hmm. step to freedom. When we hear people talking about going off grid, it's mm. this, eh? Let me guys tell you, for the people who are not in Africa, motherland, mm -hmm. and those who are in the, uh, mostly in the diaspora, in Africa, when you don't own a piece of land, you are as useless. You are poor. You are useless, actually. Yeah. But when you have even a quarter of an acre, where Respect. you have your house, you have your chicken, you have your... Uh, you can do your own vegetable yeah. garden, you know. Yeah, you have your own freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's what they've been trying to do in Africa, because mostly you see them wanting to take over land mm. so that you have meat nationals mm. growing food because in africa it's small scale farming mm. like 90 percent is small scale farming mm -hmm. so when they take land they control your food they grow what you they want and it's for money mm -hmm. but what about you guys mm -hmm. you want to have organic food non-gmo chemical free food and all that so it's in order that malema 
fight for the people of South Africa. And people of South Africa, if you're in South Africa and you'll be voting, you need to think about this. It's all about land. When you have land, you have freedom. Yeah. When you don't have it, you are nothing. Mm -hmm. So fight for the land. Yeah, and then we, see, we saw the former president of South Africa, Tabompe, he's saying that the land must not only be shared amongst black South Africans, it must be shared between black and white South Africans. It must be shared to those people who are working on the land. There's established ANC policy, which is in the Freedom Chart. If you come to me to say, now let's deal to something about the land. I'd say bear in mind what we've said in that Freedom Charter for many decades. The land shall be shared among those who work it. That is a very well thought out position, strategic position with regard to solving a number of issues here. The national question, the land question, how do we handle it? No, somebody pops up. No, 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 no. Let's take the land and give it to our people. So I say me, I belong to the ANC. Who, according to the ANC in South Africa, is not our people? There's nobody who's not our people. That's ANC policy. Somebody else's policy might be very different. But that's why the ANC says this, land shall be shared among those who work it. Black and white and whoever they are. My question is, how do you work on land that you when do you not don't own? Have it. You know, Black South Africans are mostly in the settlements, in the squatter camps, in those controlled in settlements slums, where they, yeah. they build you some RTP house and put you in some very small compound. You don't even have land, you and know. give you guns. And, and then they tell you that is your home. That is... How? And then white boers own vast pieces of land down in the villages. You wonder, how did you come to own all of this land when our people are suffering? As we talk about South Africa, we remember Namibia, the people of Namibia. Mm. You need... You also need to fight. You'll be having an election soon. You need to fight. You need your land back. Because we know 70% of land is owned by the minority. Mm. So guys, let us know what you think about this. Should South Africans vote for Malema and keep fighting for their land? And also, do you think it's wise what President Tabombeg is saying? The land should be shared amongst black and white South Africans who came and stole our land from us. Let us know. And also, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. And we see you in the next one. Bye.